So when you actually can, uh, work on this lab, what we want to do is you want to draw the path that the laser is going to be going. And over here we have a nice little laser up here. And you can see that the laser will go into the block. Now, the trick is to not move everything, well, anything while you do this. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to trace out where my block is. And I'm using two pieces of paper here which is not a bad thing. However, if the paper slides at all, so I want to make sure that I have the paper labeled. So I'm going to put two little marks on, on the sides just so we can realign stuff if we ever need to. Now, you'll also notice I have this uh, wonderful business card that I drew a line on. And the line is perfectly uh, perpendicular to this edge. So when I hold it up, this line is going to be vertical. When you're completing this lab, you want to make sure that the business card or whatever you're using is perfectly straight up and down. If it's tilted slightly, your lines are going to be not in the right spots. So I'm going to start with the laser. We can see that the laser comes out here. So I'm going to put the business card vertical. And up by the laser, I'm going to draw a spot for where that happens. And it's good to draw actually an arrow point if you know uh, woodworking, this is a common practice, is to actually draw an arrow to where it points. I'm going to do another one here. Again, keeping the card vertical. And this way we can connect these two lines and the two lines, if we connect the two dots, we'll get a nice line and that'll be the line that the laser travels on. I'm going to put a third point over right next to the block, make our lives a little bit easier later on. So there's a point right next to the block, and draw where that arrow is. Okay, so the laser will come out on the other side, and we can see that the path comes out, so we want to again draw the, the path. So I'm going to start up against the block, not uh, moving the block, so that would be bad. So I start there, and I know that's my first point there. <coughs> I'm going to find another point further back. Make sure the card is vertical again. Draw a point and label it. So now I get the laser coming in, the laser coming out of the block, and it's going to diffract in the middle. So it'll help us take our data. And if you notice over on here, we got one laser point coming in and two coming out. And one of them is the reflection off of the front surface, and the other one is the reflection off the back surface, so front and back. So we want to draw both of these. So I'm going to start with the reflection off of this front surface. And you see that I'm actually, when I block the front coming in, I lose it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the business card just a little bit off and use the edge of the business card. And it'll give me another straight vertical point. And again, I can draw my little arrow. So I know where I'm at, being careful to put the right point in. Move it a little way, a little ways away, and again, draw another point. And last but not least, I'm going to look at the reflection of the second, the second reflection. Point there. And another one right here. And there you go. We see the laser comes in, it reflects here. It refracts, comes over here, and then comes back out. And when it comes in, it can bounce off and then follow that path out. So once we're done, if we remove our block, make sure our paper hasn't moved, we can see what's happening.